Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Gaming Nerd, the show where I talk about old play games and today we're going to be playing Papers, Please. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished off day 28 and in this episode, we're going to finish off the game. Now, we're in the home stretch and that doesn't mean we don't have a lot, a lot to do. There's still a ton of stuff that we need to do, a couple of side plots and things that we need to finish off, and there are a bunch of different endings that you could possibly get. I've been forgetting to put, you know, which endings you can get at the end of each video. So I think I'll just either at the end of this video go over all of those endings or maybe I'll make a separate video about how to get each of those endings. You know what I think I'll go over it at the end of this video. Without further ado, let's head on to day 29. Oof, big stuff in the uh, newspaper today. December 21st, 1982. Serial child killer escapes United Fed prison. Prison. Simon Wenz and our Stutskin native returning home. Perhaps. Oh, it's you, Inspector. It has been some time. Read your bulletin bulletin carefully today. We will be speaking with many workers. Your audit comes soon. I will personally conduct it. There is nothing to fear. Work hard. So yeah, I forgot to mention in the recap last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and got our passports confiscated because our audit is coming up pretty soon. And so, as it says here, notice all government workers are subject to a thorough throw information audit involvement with unauthorized groups is ground for immediate arrest your audit is scheduled for december 24th so exactly one day after our one month anniversary of working here do not leave your designated region continued continue to confiscate all our stoskin passports from native entrance glory so right here we have simon wens in our wanted criminals ad so you might think that we want to immediately arrest him the second we see him well, we'll get to that later. Next. Papers, please. Job here. 12 weeks. It will be 12 weeks. Okay, work for 12 weeks. That's what it says. You're from Inpour. We got your name. We got your numbers. Thank you, Inpour, female, and date. Okay, so everything in the passport is good. Uh, 165, 47, small head, uh, in date. That's a different name, so let's go ahead and get that checked out. Got the same numbers there. No known alias. Oh, I want to check this with no known alias. Your identity does not match. We cannot let you through. Next. And it's Georgie. I read newspaper. Hello, Georgie. Things getting crazy in Arstotska. Maybe you think about going away for a bit. Oberstan is a good place. Right next door up north. Our passports have been confiscated. We cannot leave. Hey, that is not a good sign. Hold on. I know a guy. Need forged Oberstan docs? It looks so real. Approved for entry. Just give him real passports to work with. He charges info to match for you. I learned that in a hard way. Conditions on the back. Passport uh, costs 20 credits. Entry ticket costs 5. So 25 for each person. Client must provide existing Oberstan passport to be modified with new info. Service at border or Stutzka slash Oberstan. Ask for... Timofe Timofe Wee. Okay, so I think Georgie's stuff is all good today, unless his weight is off. Nope. I think he's good. Thanks again. Hey, you know what? Take my passport. I get another one, no problem. 
Now memorize flyer and give back if you fi if you finish reading. Do not want to get in any, any trouble. Oberstan really great this time of year. Lots of snow. Not sure where you get more passports for family, but you a smart guy. Probably figure it out. Good luck. So now I introduce you to ending three, where if you get enough passports for your family, you can escape to Obristan and live there instead. I'll go ahead and point out any time there's um, Obristan passports, just so if you're going for that ending, you can go ahead and get that. Oscar Carter. You know, since your name is Oscar, you're probably... This is probably just a formality at this point, but go ahead and do that. 90 kilograms. Magic data. Short hair. Winter buy, that's good. Yep. Discrepancy all cleared up. Yorko City. Everything looks good, I think. Unless there's something I'm missing. Hopefully you didn't need to have a work pass with you. I'm in transit. For two weeks. Here is someone from Obristan. So be sure to, if you're going for the ending where you escape to Obristan, go ahead and confiscate this one. Got the numbers. Transit for two weeks, you said. Um, 179. Mohawk, and then got that. Got the name. Got the numbers. Got all of that. And then everything looks good here, so I'm going to go ahead and confiscate that. And then I'm going to approve. What is this? Where's passport? It is being confiscated. How will I travel? Contact number on slip. So yeah, we're going to get a penalty for uh, unregulated or unauthorized passport confiscation. But you'll need everything you can get if you're going to escape. Like this passport, this Oberstan passport, for example. Stay 12 weeks. Polio. I don't know why I just randomly said polio. I, I guess my brain wanted to say everything's all good with uh, your polio certificate, but my brain just didn't have enough willpower, I guess, to actually say those words out loud, so it just said polio. Contact number on slip. Hope I was able to let you in. It wouldn't matter anyway, considering... Oh, yeah, I got some stuff wrong there, too. Visit for 14 days. Visit 14 days. Got the number. 56. Short curly hair. That looks about right. Uh, 82. Name. Number. I just noticed that's not you in the photo. It is an old picture. Go ahead and prove it. Oh, it is. Everything else looks good. Scared that I'm going to start messing up pretty soon. Look at it. Simon Wens took her from me. I follow him for many weeks. I know he comes here soon. It is big favor, I ask, but it is important. Let him through if you see him, but take his passport first. I come back. You give me his passport and I track him down. I make him suffer like he did to Julia. Pretty heavy. 
Political Asylum. Is this you? Oh, I guess it is. Huh. Let me just make sure that... Okay. Because I, I, I wasn't... I was scared that maybe if I didn't do that, that it would be like, oh, non-matching photo, even though you got the right fingerprints. But no, the game thought ahead of that. Uh, that's in date. Uh, I can go ahead and just quickly finish up here. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'll let you in. I'm feeling nice. Alrighty. End of day 29. Your wife found an old family picture. You can now escape to Oberstan with two family members. So you can actually make a decision to leave some of your family members behind. I don't think you get to choose which ones you leave behind. But if you want to get the best possible ending, you want to get five Oberstan pass, uh, passports. So I'm not going to check that just because I don't want to accidentally get the wrong ending and have to go through day 29 again. Okay, so now we're going to uncheck food and then go to sleep. Roadblock to collection resolution. Con contested city drives wedge. And so we see that familiar card. Dimitri is coming to pay us a visit. So immediately take the drawing off of the wall. Just have his two plaques up there. We have a lot of clutter on our desk, but we'll go ahead and sort that out in a minute. Maybe this place not so bad. With everything going on, checkpoint visit is nice break. You have received 11 citations. There are no more plaques. And he just quickly makes his leave. So now let's go ahead and sort everything out. First of all, I'm going to move the picture up there, and I'm going to move the photo up there as well. We actually get to see what our player character looks like. So we have us, our mother, uh, or not our mother, our wife, our son, our uncle, and our mother-in-law. We don't have our niece in this photo, unfortunately, because it's an old family photo, of course, from 1980. going to put that up there. I'm going to keep the Julia photo down here. <clears throat> Notice. Interesting thing is that uh, whenever, is that now from now on, I'm pretty sure it stays as do not leave because your audit is coming up. And plus, instead of saying inspector, it just says notice. It seems a lot more formal. So we have some interesting things right here. First of all, this person right here is from Obrastan. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately confiscate the passport and we'll go ahead and let them in considering you know we're already going to get a citation anyway what are they going to do give us another citation they can't that's not you know allowed i guess this is simon wens now you decide what you want to do i'm going to do what the heartbroken father said. I'm going to confiscate and let Wens through. He's just going to leave silently. And we're going to wait for the father to come back. Purpose of your trip. I will visit friends. Duration of stay, three months. So now we're going to... Look through all of these papers. Uh, I keep forgetting to pull out the rule book and the audio transcript. Visit for three months, visit for three months, nice. Got the height, the correct weight, perfect vision. I guess that just means you don't have glasses. I don't know. Got the right polio vaccine, got the numbers, got the name. That doesn't look right. As the document says. And we're going to go ahead and detain you.
there's not much to say. I've pretty much much run out of things to talk about. So, this guy right here, passing through, 14 days. I like picture on wall here. Reminds me of how my family was. I always like hanging stuff on the wall in this game because. It always gives you s some extra dialogue, like there's that one guy who insulted our son's drawing and then took it back when he got arrested. Uh, unkempt curly hair. Right date. Name. Polio vaccine is in date. Glory and Antegria. I believe that's right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and let you through. Wait, transit for two weeks? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Take care of your family. It is too easy to lose them. <sighs> True. Visiting. Duration of stay. Few months. Oh, you're from Oberstan. Let's go ahead and confiscate your passport. And then I'll let you in. And I think I'm good in terms of Passport confiscation. Contact number on slip. Did you see him? Give his passport to me. Yeah, this is Simon Wins. Hmm. I know this city. He will be easily found. Let me through. Thank you. Now please give back my daughter's photo. I want to show it to him while he suffers. My Julia. Read the news tomorrow. And he gives us a token. So yeah, we're getting a lot of penalties today. Come to work. For a full year. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure I've got all of my things in order. Okay, so, so name. Number. Work for a year, you said? Work for a year. Okay. Same height. Same weight. Bob Tear. End date. Same name. Same number and polio vaccine is in date, meaning that where is your work pass if you have come here to work? Where's work pass? What is that? Okay. Alrighty, off. I forgot I was gonna I forgot what I was gonna say. This person is always from Oberstan, so if you're running low on proper, uh, I heard the border will close. My access permit will not arrive in time. Please have mercy. You have no access permit. Yes, I know I just told you that. I'm afraid the border will close before I can enter. Moral dilemma. Completely up to you which one you choose. I've already got like 20 citations, so what's one more? Cause no trouble. We don't even get any nice dialogue. Ah, crud. Plan to work. Work for two months. Okay. Name. Nice. Numbers. Okay. Two months. 183, 87. Short curly hair, is that you? Okay, I guess. I guess that technically counts as curly. Polio. Name. Oh, I thought, I thought that was his, like, his numbers here. And so I was like, how did, that's such a weird number to have. And I was like, oh, wait, that's, I'm just, Weird. I'll approve you and let you through. Day's almost done. Just have one hour left. 
This will probably be like my last person here for the day. Not in the episode, I still have another day to go. Transit through country, two days. Everything over here is good, polio is good. No, it's not, don't take that out of context. Uh, I just meant like the vaccine cert was good. Transfer for two days. Yep. 172. 52 kilograms. Bob Tear. I'll let you through. Please don't give me another citation. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay. Your son is sick and needs medicine. You can now skip to Oberstein with four family members. I forgot that I had an extra family member. Well, all of those citations were for nothing, but hey, I pointed it out to you, so I won't be getting the uh, escape with all your family members ending, but I will get the glory to our Stotska ending and pointing out other endings along the way. So, you know what? It's fine. Okay, we're not having the best time, but bloody scene in Genistora. Simon Wen's found dead in confusing mess. Rest in checkpoint, future uncertain. Now all we have to do is get through this, our final day, December 23rd, exactly one month since we first arrived here. And we get our last note. Inspector, the Ministry of Admission is involved in discussions regarding the closure of this checkpoint. Until a decision is made, maintain your duties as ordered. And of course we have our audit. Glory to our Stotska. Our last day. This is your last chance to get the... Uh, Escape ending, but, you know, I'm obviously not going to be doing that. I'll, but I'm still going to be getting one of the good endings, so I'm completely fine with that. This person has an Oberstan passport, so you confiscate if you wish. Remain for a few weeks. Same number. Same height. Same weight. Bobbed hair. Same name. Everything's in date. Did you say anything about... Okay, visit for a few weeks. Visit for a few weeks. Okay. Wondaz Oberstan. Uh, is that your face? It looks a bit different. Although I could see it being you. Yeah, that looks about... Wait. Oh, no. Sorry. Sometimes I have a trouble like glancing at fingerprints and seeing if they look the same. But yeah, that is a good bit different. So if you're on the member of an, the order route, this will be an Isaac member talking to you about how something is going to be going down later. Basically, he says that at the end of the day, there's going to be something crazy going on and to not shoot at the people there because they're going to be members of the order just like you but since we're not a member of the order obviously they're not going to disclose that with us since we have stopped them pretty much every single step of the way i'll approve you Ooh, forged work pass i forgot to look at that i forgot to look at that crud Okay, diplomatic discussions. Is that the right seal? I think it is. I'm not very good at telling when it comes to seals, and it takes a good while to pull it out. I think it's just if it has a seal, then it's good. Yeah, that, that vaccine's still good. Okay, go ahead and approve you. Wait. Wait. Did they not have an access permit? No, they did. Okay, I, I, for some reason I thought that they didn't have an access permit. 
visit for a couple of weeks. Where's your passport? Passport is required. Took away my passport. That's good, right? I'll go ahead and put on an extra one just in case. It's Georgie for the final time. Oh boy, I make big score. Huge, you have no idea. Anyway, I just want to say thank you. I wait in line just for that. Maybe I quit now. Haha. Uh -huh. He gives us a good bunch of money. And we say farewell for, to Georgie for the final time in the series. I'll miss him. Immigrating. Okay. Discrepancy detected. It'd be funny if I just thought about this, but when it, whenever the person says immigrating, it's always immigrate forever. It'd be funny if one of the forged documents would have been like immigrating for two days or something like that. Just so you immediately know that it's forged. Anyway, speaking of forgeries, this person is obviously not the same person. Immigrating to our Stotska. Obristan person right here, so if you want to go ahead and confiscate their stuff, go ahead and do that. I don't think this is scripted, so you, you probably won't get this person on your playthrough. Short wavy here. Skull Obristan. You know what? I'm pretty sure this is the final person we ever have to approve. I hope that I got that correctly. It'd be funny if I didn't. Okay, we did. Because now, you'll remember we talked about plans in, uh... Yep. Holy crap, they just come in with a truck. You immediately want to grab your key. They kill all of the guards. And once you take both out, you have completed your job here. This top one you want to get first because he'll try to blow up the wall. Day was cut short by a terrorist attack. You've rushed home and amid the panic in work to check on your family. Your information audit is scheduled for tomorrow morning. You can now escape to Oberstown with four of your family members. I will not be doing that. We couldn't even if we wanted to because even if you get rid of food, you can only escape with three. So you know what, we'll just keep that checked for now. And now that we've completed day 31, it is the end of Papers, Please. So let's head to bed. Hey, so I just wanted to drop in real quick and say that I wanted to fulfill my promise of letting you guys know about all of the different endings in Papers, Please before the video ended. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Ending one, if you run out of money on any day, then you get arrested. Ending 2, if your entire family dies because you fail to supply heat or food, then you get arrested. Ending 3, when Vodal comes to ask about the Isaac members, if you give him the documents that you received, then he will arrest you. If you receive the credits from the Isaac members, but fail to do the tasks for them that they want you to do afterwards, then you will be arrested. Endings 5 through 8 are if you shoot a bystander with a rifle, a bystander with a tranquilizer gun, a guard with a sniper rifle, and a guard with a tranquilizer gun. Endings 9 and 10, if you shoot the man in red with a sniper rifle or with a tranquilizer gun, you will be arrested in both endings. Ending 11, if Dimitri sees stuff on your wall that's not his plaques twice, then he will arrest you. Ending 12, if you detain Shea Piersovska when she comes through, then Dimitri will arrest you. Ending 13, if you don't complete enough Isaac tasks and you let the Isaac attackers blow up the wall, then you will be arrested. Ending 14, if you've completed enough Isaac tasks, but you shoot the people who are trying to blow up the wall, then you will be ratted out by the Isaac members and arrested. 
Ending 15. If you complete enough Ezek tasks and shoot one of the Ezek members, but you let the wall get blown up, then the Ezek will take over Arstotska and kick you out of the country. Ending 16. If you illegally leave the country with not all of your family members, you'll get this ending. If you Ending 17. If you complete at least one task but less than four tasks, then you will be ratted out by the Ezek members, or I think you get discovered is what happens, and you're put to death. Endings 18, 19, and 20 are the main endings. Ending 20 is the one that I'm about to get right here, so I'll just describe how to get endings 18 and 19. So 18 is when you escape to Oberstan illegally with all of your living family members and you're able to live a happy life in Oberstan. If you complete enough Ezek tasks, so like four or five of them, and you hold your fire against the Ezek attackers, then you will be able to live in Arstotska under the new order. And like I said, ending 20 is the one we're about to get, so sit back and enjoy. Hello, Inspector. We have audited your activities for the past 20 years. There are some anomalies, but you have served our Stotska well. We will overlook these small transgressions. You have been cleared of any suspicion. Glory to our Stotska. A new agreement has been reached with Kalechia. Greston Border Checkpoint will reopen soon. Return to your post on January 1st. Endless Unlock Code 62131. So if you want to play Endless Mode, then go ahead and do that with whatever code you get at the end of the game. And with that... We get our stats. We played for 4 hours, 44 minutes, and 56 seconds. We have... 332 travelers processed, 173 approved, 85 denied, 59 detained, 31 citations. Dang, that's more than I thought I would get. 269 stamps applied, and we have ending 20 of 20. And we get the credits. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been such a fun game to play. It's, it's very stressful. I won't deny that. It is a very stressful game to play, but in a good type of way, which is something that I didn't think I'd ever say about any game, that it's stressful in a good way. But this honestly is. It is so fun to play. And just see, getting to see the lives of these different people while you're working as a security guard checkpoint, and getting to see your favorite characters, like my personal favorite characters are Georgie, of course, Sergio, of course, and Elisa, of course, because they're just so nice. I also love the uh, heartbroken father, the guy who uh, went after Simon Wins. That was super awesome how he went after him. But this is just so good. I can't put into words how much I love this game. Now it's time to put into words how much I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It is just... I'm just so glad every time you guys watch some of my videos. It's just so cool to see that other people are interested in stuff that I'm also in interested. And it's fun to have people experience stuff for the first time through my videos. Uh, so if you are one of those people who have experienced a, a video game for the first time through one of my videos... Uh, let me know in the comments below, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say other than just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I can be entertaining for you guys in the future. I am super duper excited for the next game coming up. I'll have a lot more to say about that game, just because there's a lot more to say about that game in general, just because there's so much inside of that game, but also just because like... You know, with Papers, Please, I love this game, but there's not much to say about it once you've gotten through, like, 20 or 30-something days of just doing a lot of the same stuff over and over. Still love this game, though. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!